in this video I will show you how I made this carrot puree soap. Step 1 is to make carrot puree. You just cut the carrots and boil it in distilled water. Pour it in a mold or an ice tray and freeze it. Once it's ready, now you can start the rest of the soap making process. First take out all the frozen carrot puree that we made. Now it's time to measure lye. Make sure you wear safety goggles and gloves during the whole process of soap making. Measure the lye according to your soap recipe. And next step is to mix lye with the carrot puree that we froze. Now at this point you need a lot of patience because in the beginning it will look like this process is going so slow. But trust me, eventually you will see that lye will start melting the carrot puree blocks and you will eventually receive a carrot puree and lye mixture. Okay, you will see that it has started melting. Uh, add a little bit lye at a time and then once that is mixed, add more to it. I had this big clump of lye. Um, try not to have clumps like this and if you do be very careful and make sure it mixes very well I actually had to add a little bit more water uh, now I also want to show you how it will look when it is actually mixed when you will check it on a spatula you will see there are no white lye uh, pieces or you can say um, particles that way you know it's mixed well Next step, I am going to measure all my oils. First, I added olive oil. Then I added some castor oil. In this soap recipe, I actually used all liquid oils uh, except a little bit of coconut oil. Then I added grapeseed oil. And next is avocado oil. That's such a cute bottle. I just got it from ShopRite. Now all the oils are added, uh, liquid oils. Now it's time to add the solid oil. The only solid oil I have added is coconut oil. Just 20% to add some cleansing to it. Once it's measured, melt it. And now it's time to make, mix all the oils and our carrot puree and lye mixture. So I needed a bigger container because I had to put all of this together and first i added all my liquid oils now i am adding here carrot puree and lye mixture mix it look at the color changing and now i'm adding here coconut oil to all the oils and mixture mix it well now only thing i forgot to measure before is fragrance oil i use sandalwood fragrance oil here that i bought from wholesale supplies plus it's a very uh, it's a unisex scent and everyone loves it now it's time to blend it all together here i'm blending it looks beautiful all that orange color is from the carrot puree that we added once everything is added uh, mix well to an emulsion then i add fragrance oil fragrance oil make sure you mix it very well there is no separation somewhere after this i'm going to make sure that my solution reaches to trace all right i stopped at a medium to light trace you can see here this fragrance oil behaves really well so i don't have to worry about it accelerating molds are ready and it's time to pour that's it it was that easy the only part we did differently is instead of using distilled water we replaced the distilled water with a carrot puree and you can do the same for any other food products that you want to add in the soap making you just freeze it and make a puree out of it sorry you you make a puree and then you freeze it and replace the water with that food material whatever you want to add to your soap and that's it and once you pour it in the mold give it a design or decorate the top as you would like and that's all it is ready let's see how the final look is here it looks so um, orangish yellow after three days 
I unmolded it. It looked beautiful, but the color will not stay like this. Uh, in like about one month or two months, the color will start fading and it will actually eventually look lighter. But right now it's new, so that's how it is looking. But this is the best way to add carrot to your soap. I hope you like this video and if you want to check out more soap making videos, you can check out my YouTube channel and I have more videos there. Happy soaping!